Oh, Sasha, uh, what are you doing here uh, with the, uh, sorry, is this a uh, flower? Yes. Yes, flower. Yes. What are you doing? It's Russian. Russian. Russian, it's, it's yes. It's really nice, white. Look at it. To, as usual. <laughs> Nothing, yeah. nothing uh, and, extraordinary. And I, I want to show uh, international, uh, European. Uh, European? Yes. Uh, European flower? Yes. Why did you get it? We... <laughs> oh, show it's love, it. I love it. Show it. Oh my God. <gasps> they didn't mm. lie me, my friends oh. from Europe didn't lie me. <laughs> it's protein, you know, Pro protein. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, guys. It's disgusting. No. <laughs> no. Let wow. show me again. <laughs> I can't look, believe look, my look, eyes. Look, look. <laughs> How many, can you make it many. pies with love? <laughs> my dear viewers, of course it was a joke, but I'm in Tula. And this is not a joke. And I'm going to introduce you a big supermarket here in Tula. It's a rather big city uh, with population half a million. And let's see what's going on here with the groceries and what people buy and how it looks like. I'm in the very center, in the very heart of Tula, not far from Tula Kremlin. And let's get started. Certainly, somebody can call Tula provincial a Russian city, but I would say it's a capital. It's capital of, of the whole region. And uh, this uh, mall is, is so nice, so good. It's like in Moscow and I see supermarket Perikrostek is somewhere downstairs. Wow, it's really, it's awesome. Guys, we have a chance to compare prices between two capitals, Moscow and Tula. Hmm, very, very big, I would say huge supermarket for half a million population. And let's get, get started with something very, very tasty. Sausages later. Sunflower oil later. Not so many people. It's good. Oh, section of beverages. And do you see these black and red bottles? Will you guess what's inside? Coca Cola bottles um, of Russian Coca Cola look similar to the traditional coca-cola <laughs> and among these bottles I see what classic coca-cola oh my dear where are you from let me see Kazakhstan our dear friends from Kazakhstan oh it's about parallel import, you know? <laughs> it's great. Why not? Who can forbid it? In Moscow, I bought Dobry Cola uh, just maybe a week ago, and I remember um, its price, 80 rubles, and here is approximately 80, 70, 77 rubles. The same price. I was here with uh, what discounts again to a gingerbread of course it's not a hedgehog <laughs> because that was the last one 
as I told you before. So 45 rubles for 140 grams. Hmm, good price for for present from Tula. And Nutella. Nutella. As I remember rightly, you told us bye bye. But I see you again. But of course, Nutella is expensive, but it's delicious, really delicious. With fresh baked bread in the morning, my dear viewers, write down in comments, do you like Nutella? I like it, but I don't eat it because there are a great deal of calories. And what's here? Just ready to eat food. If you're hungry, you can buy just, uh, for example, uh, fish for 51 ruble for 100 grams, or cutlets of different kinds, or sandwiches. Oh my god! I know exactly they have their own bakery here and a warehouse and this is a pretty close production it looks rather nice and with uh, with good feelings I hope so ham and cheese and uh, and uh, tomato 130 rubles it's uh, less than two dollars as for fish I don't see the abundance maybe it's because of holidays in Russia and all the fish is uh, sold but the flounder looks and smells rather good and its price is only just three and a half dollars for one kilo and a little bit of sea bass or no dorada and uh, uh, not so good uh, trout I know exactly why people don't want to visit this store. Can you guess why? Because you can buy here fish, but not favorite hedgehogs. Hmm? And grocery store is not a grocery store without canned hedgehogs. So what about salty trout? I would say it's it's really expensive 480 rubles for 200 grams I know uh, exactly it's good and um, high quality trout but I think it's too much the price is too much I would buy it maybe for 350 rubles yeah prices are high I suppose that here in Tula rich people live what do you think write down in comments maybe you have some friends from from this region because prices are higher sometimes than in Moscow I know all prices in Moscow believe me <sighs> and what about what about herring so price for one pack of herring 650 grams only not not even one kilo 150 rubles two dollars mm, not bad not bad i think i should have begun from from the beginning because uh, it's a vegetable section and it looks way better than other sections <laughs> here and uh, let's see the prices so do you like black tomatoes <sighs> they're like from hell they're not black here just green i think but uh, 300 uh, rubles for one kilo just the same prices in moscow and 300 rubles for one kilo tomatoes from from azerbaijan pink tomatoes they are not pink they are red red okay, of course the best tomatoes here are pink paradise its name pink paradise 
price. But have a look at the price. 620 rubles. Impossible price, really. Guys, maybe I am too capricious today. Maybe I envy Tula citizens. But it's true. I see prices are not low, not like in other regions of Russia. What can I do? Let's check out prices in the frozen food section. It's here. Just have a look. Cranberry. 540 uh, rubles for 900 grams. Frozen cranberry. But I buy fresh cranberry in summertime mm, for 300 rubles. Very, very expensive. Of course, I see a lot of discounts. Many, many products are on sale, but for example, mushrooms, frozen mushrooms, 190 rubles for 300 grams. No comments. And finally, finally, my beloved section of sausages. Let's see what's going on here. <laughs> I see a lot of discounts. It's great. No degustation. And it's clear to you that if I don't have a degustation, in a grocery store, it means that I don't like this grocery store. <laughs> uh, don't be capricious, Marine. Okay, okay, thanks to discounts, the prices here in Tula grocery store are the same as in Moscow. Approximately the same, a little bit higher, but a little bit. My dear friends, now I have all the advantages uh, in my YouTube channel and even super thanks. If you want to support me in my channel, please don't forget to use it. Super thanks and, and sponsorship for those who are brave and indifferent. Hmm? Thanks a lot. I appreciate your donations so much with all my heart i think my trip to tula my one day trip to tula is over thank god we have found one hedgehog and sasha ate it with great pleasure nothing to buy here yeah it's true I'm capricious. And here is the link to my best videos of Russian farmer's market. Hmm?